What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel, also known as the Noma Barber. I am your host. As always, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. And today I'm going to be doing a different type of vlog. I'm going to be showing you how I traded a haircut for a PC. Now that doesn't really make any sense, does it? So make sure you keep watching the rest of the video to find out what happened. <music> So I'm gonna try and keep it as simple as possible. So a few months ago, I was kind of struggling, let's say, to edit some of the footage that I'd started to record in certain places, like from India and the trips I went to last year, uh, some of the cinematic stuff, just generally anything where I was filming in 4K and the files were kind of huge. So I ended up buying the A7S III by Sony, which I'm filming on now. And once that came out, the codex and the different ways that it compresses the files just made it even harder for me to edit my footage. Now, I haven't had a laptop or uh, a, a Windows-based uh, PC for 11 years, properly. I did buy a laptop called the Razer Blade last year, which I had a complete nightmare with, ended up sending it back after a month. So I was like, I'm never gonna touch a PC or Windows again. So I ended up falling upon this YouTube channel by a guy called The Tech Notice, his name's Laurie. I think that's how you say it, he, he, should, he should be here soon. Um, and I, I loved it, I loved the content. Um, he ended up showing a full build on basically a Mac Pro killer. So he built something that had higher specs than a Mac Pro, um, which are thousands and thousands of pounds. And he built it for, I think, 2,000 pounds. I ended up following his channel, um, subscribed, like you guys subscribed to me, and I took some advice and ended up buying this monitor. So I was editing on that with the MacBook Pro for a little bit, using the monitor. And it's an amazing monitor. So I invested in that, became a bit of a fanboy, ended up buying the mouse and the uh, keyboard that he suggested to buy. And yeah, incredible, helped me workflow so much better. But the problem still remained that the MacBook Pro was just not cutting it in terms of the high quality content I wanted to um, create for you guys. So emailed them, would you build me a PC? He was like, I'd be honored to. And it was as easy as that. And then we said, why don't we solve a haircut for the PC build? And I was like, wait, that you're not gonna you're not gonna charge me for the build, but you'll take a haircut. And that's what it's kind of ended up being. It's been a little bit of a project. Laurie has built me a mega PC, which will hopefully change my life. So yeah, he's on his way here now and he's going to be setting up the PC for me. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm super excited and I can't wait to start using it. So yeah, so he should be arriving anytime now. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how this PC setup works because I'm a bit nervous to be honest because I haven't used the PC properly for a long time. I know I know my way around the Mac. I feel like I'm kind of tech savvy in a lot of ways and it's to do with cameras and uh, MacBooks for sure. I've been able to fix so many over the years. But when it comes to PC, I think the last system I used was like Windows 98 or Windows, <laughs> Windows XP. So I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing with this, but hopefully this is a new chapter in this channel. So he's just going to get the PC. Oh, what's in this? You got a heater? <laughs> oh, is that all right then? Yeah, it looks good, bricks. yeah. All the bricks. <laughs> Yeah, 
How's that gonna fit in my backpack? <laughs> what we said last time. Oh. Wow. Jesus. Can you pull this out? Yeah. Out? Oh my god. It looks like something from the future. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, I was expecting special, but this is incredible. Look at the inside of that. That's months and months of searching for computer parts right there uh, in an incredible build. He's running a great, like a barber YouTube channel and you know, you probably can see my haircut on his channel at some point. So let's, uh, you know, plug it in and see if we can get it working. You ready? Do you want to do it, Janus? Yeah. Right. How's it work? Press, press that. Oh, look at the little fans going. <laughs> Because you can't go into the Bluetooth settings before you have like the keyboard. Should have got Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Should have got Mac. Okay, so um, when you usually play back footage, what's the? Do you have it on full resolution or? <laughs> I have it on almost one sixteenth when it's possible. One sixteenth. Or one eighth. Okay, so let's try it on full, right? This yeah. is this is A7S3, 10 bit 422. Just try the timeline performance. There's actually two. This one is SI, which is easier codec, but that one is harder. So just try the timeline performance. Okay, I'm just trying to take these off, but if you want try to scrubbing you through. Off, you only got what? This is on full, and this is like the hardest codec to play back because there is no GPU that plays the back that 422 10-bit 4K from A7S3. It just, I don't like how, yeah. I haven't played back footage that easily <laughs> since I used 720. <laughs> and that is SI now. Look how the, the timeline is pretty snappy. That's crazy. This is red 6K raw, full. Okay, struggling there a bit. Struggling there a bit. Okay, Still try pretty smooth though. I mean, try the try the timeline performance there now. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so we move to 8K. Now this is this is quarter of the resolution there at the moment. Yeah. Move it to like half the resolution just to to show like okay we're not putting it full but try like half okay. And timeline performance, for example, or first of all, it plays it. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is red 8K raw. And the, the funny thing is, that the computer sounds like it's barely on. <laughs> I know, it's like, it's not struggling, it's like, yeah, just like chilling. Red 8K raw, like every single frame is 35 megapixels. Smooth as anything. <laughs> no frames drop. No frames drop. I mean, this is quarter. You can put it on full as well. Try it full. Let's move it to full. Still smooth. It, it's playing back full resolution. <laughs> Red 8K raw. Oh my god. I don't think I've witnessed something handle footage so seamlessly you know <laughs> i um, mean i built this and and i thought okay it's gonna be good but then when i played back this 12k i was a bit like no like, is this seriously like <laughs> this is insane so these guys are going now uh i've got my pc incredible works amazingly I'm just waiting for one of my projects to go on there so I can see how it really performs compared to how it did before uh, when I really struggled with my Mac. So, yep, just want to say thank you. How no can the guys find you if they want to see everything PC related, tech related? 
little tech related, some funny Estonian UK guy to some tech videos, go to Technotis YouTube channel or just find if Peter McKinnon had a PC. I don't know, you might find something. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Okay, see you. But nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. See you, bro. Yeah. See you soon. So the test coincided nicely with my afternoon coffee break and protein bar. And it just exported an hour and a bit worth of footage, 4K footage, with a grade. And it done it in about 18, 19 minutes. Which for me, it's a game changer. So I'm looking forward to uh, putting this putting this super PC to more use, getting some more videos out on this channel. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a different style of vlog. Quite chilled out, nice little collaboration with Laurie, Larry, whatever you want to call him, Tech Notice. Uh, make sure you head over to his channel, see what he's got to say about PCs. And if you're new here, click the subscribe button, give me a like, drop me a comment, and I'll be seeing you guys soon. Thank you.